What's up guys? I was given this Synology NAS for free. Uh, it's about 10 years old. It, uh, it is the let's see where is that? DS213J model. It's 12 volts, 5 amps, which I don't have the original power supply for. But from reading online, my Netgear power supply right here should work. It is 12 volts, 3.5 amps. From what I read, this thing only actually pulls about 2 so hopefully it'll be fine. But yeah, um, as far as I know, this thing works. It has, I opened it up and dusted it off camera and it had a three terabyte on top. So I'm guessing it also has a three terabyte NAS hard drive on the bottom. So we'll probably run this thing in raid just in case. Um, and then eventually upgrade it. I think these can support up to around like 16 terabytes unofficially. So let's go ahead and plug this in, see if it boots up. It should. All right. Oh, yep. It has the has some lights on. Disc one and two lights. So now we're gonna have to plug this into the Ethernet, which will have to be a little bit off camera because actually no this is as far as it reaches so yeah now the land light is on I think it's close to being done booting up now so let's go ahead and switch over to OBS and see if anything changes all right what's up guys I am on the Fujitsu um, lifebook something 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 so let's go ahead and try to get the uh, software setup for it let's see if it pops up All right, uh, what's up guys? I asked him about the password and he gave it to me, so it worked. Next. Admin. Restore maybe. Uh, reset. Erase data. Keep current admin data password. No, I would like to change it. Alright. Alright. Alright, the timer was on and now it's showing this, so. And I just heard the Synology boot up. So I think we're pretty close. Let's see if anything happens. Okay. Automatically install. Yeah. Okay. I actually don't know what kind of hard drives are in here, so. I know one's a three terabyte, but he said he thinks he might have put the other one into his. Um, other one. Uh, into his. Uh, PC. Minimum number of drives one drive four times. Actually, let me go ahead and see if they are both. Okay, yeah, they are both three terabyte ones. Um, let me go to health info. 
deer bed sectors. That is good. 3,500 hours. That's a little much, but not bad. Um, I've seen a lot worse. To, uh, health info. Uh, also, deer bed ones. So, what I'm going to do is search up these. See. And if they're known good drives, I might not do raid for now until I get a little bit bigger more drives for this. Alright, so it seems like these drives are not the best ever from what I'm reading. So yeah, we're gonna run raid. What's up guys? I am back. It did not actually take that long. Um I was just Oh, I fell asleep, so uh, it's like two hours later. <laughs> All right. So. What's up, guys? I'm just going to go ahead and show you all my internet speed. So this would be for the wireless, but not whenever like I'm connected to my computer through Ethernet since it's on the same switch. All right, what's up guys? I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all that this is not the way I ended up doing it. I ended up making a folder called pool one and then put these folders inside of it so I can edit and create new folders without having to go into this little website OS thing. basically instantly so that's not too bad at all um so all right so i got an ssd that i use to just dump files onto i have like five of them right now so plug this in um but here's just a little 10 gig file so let's drag that into not that okay so yeah it seems like it's about 10 11 just my network's upload speed <laughs> all right guys so i'm gonna end up just plugging this into an ethernet port so same switch if I had better internet it'd probably be around the same speed anyways so this is also going from a USB to SATA just normal 256 gig SATA SSD um, I think the read and write's probably around this to be honest the same SSD is also in this Fujitsu so that's honestly about what I'd expect it's about the same as transferring it just USB so that's pretty good all right, what's up guys? So I've been editing 4K footage off of this for a little bit. Uh, the Microsoft Surface video is fully edited off of this. And I mean, it's been scrubbing through pretty good. This is unrendered, I mean. But yeah, I mean, not the screen recordings aren't 4K, but like this is a uh, thing in, I don't know, yeah, it's working really well for, especially for how old this thing is. So I would say if you don't have enough money, I would go, honestly try to go for like a 4 a one or maybe the plus version of this so you have like docker support but this has been working really well i really enjoy synology i don't think i'll do anything besides synology after this so yeah uh this this is very usable in 2025 i'd almost say that i recommend it so yeah That's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye.